One of the biggest benefits of email marketing in general, automated email campaigns, aka tiny slave machines, according to Neville Medora, truly great copywriter. I'm sure you know this by now, and it's no surprise that, you know, emails can be automated and you can create various types of autoresponders, automated funnels, uh, you know, sequences, and they have various names, but they basically all mean the same thing. It's, uh, it's the concept that you set something up in advance, you front load the work, and then uh, that email automation will work for you 24-7, 365. And sure, you can still do a lot of automations with other marketing tools as well. Obviously, you can automate Facebook ads and a lot of other things as well. But uh, as I said before, email is a relatively personal uh, communication channel, which when people are reading uh, relevant emails to their situation, uh, they're actually diving deep into the contents of that email. And don't worry about, you know, average open rates of 20% and average click through rates of 2% or something that doesn't really mean much in the grander scheme of things. So if you're sending good emails, you have a good relationship with your list, then you can expect to see open rates above 30%, uh, which again, doesn't sound like much, but if you have 10,000 people on your list, that's 3000 people. Every Every single email you sell and if you uh, have a click-through rate five percent think about it that's out of a ten thousand people that's 500 clicks imagine how much you would have to pay for the same amount of clicks with the Facebook ad uh, if we assume a, a cost per click of one or two dollars or sometimes even more then that's already like uh, several hundred to a thousand dollars just for one message to get across uh, your audience. So that's the real power of email. And now imagine automating all these things and doing this on autopilot. It's super powerful and actually uh, setting up a few uh, basic automations isn't even that difficult. So right now I'm going to give you a few uh, simple but very effective automations that you can basically create and plug into your business even today or within a few days. So first of all, you need a welcome sequence. And this is just basically a tool to give a good first impression to anybody who, who subscribes on your list. So basically, you can make this uh, as short as two, three emails to as long as a week. And basically, in the first email, you know, you just acknowledge the lead magnet that they subscribe to. You give them the download link and, you know, you give them some basic information and, uh, uh set expectations on what they can expect. You know, in a second email, you can tell them more about yourself, about your story, your business, about why you're here and why, you know, your brand exists. Then the third email, you can uh, just show them a few case studies or uh, tell them a story about someone who was just like them, who was uh, in their own shoes and you help them in some way. Uh, either through one of your products or through working with them personally or something. The second type of sequence is a sales sequence that you should have whenever you launch something live, uh, whenever you're doing a webinar, whenever you have an evergreen uh, course funnel, or even whenever you're selling something physical, but you want to plan that out across several emails. That's a sales sequence. And I'll cover this more in a future video. But for now, just know that uh, a five, seven, even 10 part sales sequence will be the big money maker on your email list and uh, it's something which is a bit more complicated to do especially in the copywriting department but it's gonna be those really high needle movers that you have to have in your business so a third type of automated sequence that you should have uh, is an abandoned cart email sequence made up of one two to three maximum emails uh, and I have a more detailed video about this on my YouTube channel. Uh, you should definitely check it out because I, I, I cover this in, in uh, much more detail. Uh, but for now, just know that uh, reminding people that they've abandoned a purchase, that they didn't complete it, and they've abandoned the whole sales process uh, on your checkout page is one of the best ways to add an extra 20 to 30% of, of uh, revenue to your business. And uh, it's definitely a low-hanging fruit, yet I still see a lot of businesses who don't have this. And it baffles me, but it's super simple to do. Uh, just watch that video and uh, you will get all the information that you need from there, including relevant case studies that I've done of uh, a cool abandonment cart emails. So the fourth type of uh, email automation that you should have is a reactivation campaign. So obviously, most people will still not open your emails uh, regardless of how well you're doing, but that's fine. Uh, however, you do have to call your list and you do have to like clean your list eventually uh, every six months or so, let's say, so that uh, your sender score doesn't take a hit, you know, your 
normal emails don't start uh, landing in spam folders because there are so many non-legit subscribers tied to your domain, your sender domain, who aren't opening your emails. But for now, just know that, you know, having a reactivation campaign with one, two, three emails and automating this whole process will make you, uh, cleaning your list much better, much easier, and uh, your uh, results will truly improve because of this. So that's it, guys. Four very simple email automations that every single business should have. The first one was a welcome sequence. The second one was a dedicated sales sequence. Uh, the third one was an abandonment card sequence. And the third was a reactivation campaign. If you implement these successfully, you're already ahead of 70 to 80% of online businesses out there, hands down. So make sure to do it because otherwise you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And hey, if you need help with this, then feel free to reach out to me uh, because I might be able to help you with that. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which uh, sequence isn't implemented in your business yet. I wanna know, I'm curious about this and stay tuned for future videos on email marketing. So thanks again, cheers.